for five love-filled Valentine nights of making whoopee. That's my wife. Love is on the air with the newlywed game. Weeknights this week, starting at 8 on Buzzer. Okay. We don't have time uh, to do the tiebreaker, but of course we will the next time we get together. All right? Look forward to seeing both of you, and we'll look forward to seeing all of you. And we'll look forward to seeing you. Something yeah. I can do for anyone before we leave here. Yeah. Yeah. Kiss me. Yes, yeah. kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll kiss you. Bye. Isn't that uh, nice? Really? <laughs> wow. Oh, 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 oh. What a job. Oh, yes. I like you that. You too can get your own show. I guess so. You better Uncle. talk to Mark Goodson. He's floating around here someplace. Ask him if you can get your own Mark, show. Mark, can I have my own show? Yes. So I can kiss him. Yes. Oh, there he is. He said yes. You've got your own okay, show. Good. And we hope you'll join us tomorrow for Match Game. I'm Gene Rayburn. Goodbye. Today's consolation prizes are Glamour Top, the new do it yourself kitchen countertop is custom fitted, ready for you to install. A replacement countertop in over 50 gorgeous colors and patterns. And Blue Luster Shampoo and Blue Luster Plus Carpet Shampoo with grease cutters and brightness to remove ground in dirt and grime. And Potato Toppers, exciting flavor, color, and texture for baked mashed and boiled potatoes. Just sprinkle and serve in your grocery's produce section. Potato Toppers. And entertain in style with beautiful Dinoware paper plates from Fonda. Dinoware, the heavyweight paper plates with extra thickness, firmness, and strength. Dinoware. And a deep fryer and a supply of spoon and fried donut mix. Make delicious hot, fresh donut holes in minutes. Just add water to Golden Dip's new spoon and fried donut mix. Great family fun. And Playmobil, the little people that can go anywhere, do anything, and can be anyone your kids can imagine. That's Playmobil. And from Hawaiian Tropic comes an attractive beach mat and Hawaiian Tropic natural tanning lotions and oils. Hawaiian Tropic, the tan of the island. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game, a Mark Goodson, Bill Tubman production. The program was edited for both. celebrated their marriage 20 months ago, Renee and Sean LaFave. Couple number two did the I Do's two and a half months ago, Shalon and Ron Harrelson. Couple number three tied the knot 18 months ago, Mandy and Raul Gradius. And couple number four exchanged rings two and a half months ago, Sharon and Paul LeBlanc. And now, here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubank. Welcome to the Newlywed Game. Hello, couples. You ready to play? Oh, yeah. yeah. Good. Then we'll start off by asking the guys some questions. So, ladies, if you would, please head off to the soundproof room, okay? <laughs> hey, and while the ladies are leaving, I'd like to remind our husbands I'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions. As you predict, your wife will answer the same question when she returns. And remember, gentlemen, if her answer matches your prediction, all kinds of wonderful things happen. First of all, you get five points. And secondly, if you're the couple with the most points at the end of the show, you win an incredible second honeymoon. So good luck to all of you. Here's your first question. Gentlemen, the very first time you saw each other naked, will your wife say that she had more to brag about or you had more to brag about? Yeah. Paul? Um, ooh, uh, I had more to brag about. You had more to brag about? Yeah. Oh, I doubt it, but okay. Yeah, I think so. Well, <laughs> I'd have to say that she had... Way more to brag about Way than more I to brag do, about. but more than likely she'll, she will say that I had more to brag about because she's a little self-conscious. What's your answer? That, she had, that, that I had more to brag about. That you had more to brag about? Yeah. Okay. Ron? I'm going to say that I had more to brag about. She was a little nervous. You and really know. think so? Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. You still think you have more to brag about? Definitely. No kidding. Okay. <laughs> John? Uh, I definitely had more to brag about. You have more to brag about. Okay. Yeah. Next question. Gentlemen. What will your wife say is the one thing you think she obsessed way too much about right after you got married? Be specific, Raul. 
uh, about uh, being clean. The, everything was everywhere because we just moved in, and she was just running around trying to get everything. Making organized. sure everything was clean. Okay, fine. Ron? Uh, I'm going to say uh, probably finances, probably money. She obsessed too much about yeah, money. She wants to get everything in order and get us okay. going. Okay, Sean? Um, I would say that she uh, obsessed too much about uh, about her weight. About her weight? Yes. Paul? Um, it, it definitely have to be cleaning. She would stay up till 3 or 4 in the morning. She was just cleaning, cleaning all the time. Yeah, okay, last cleaning. of our five-point questions. Gentlemen, how would your wife say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. If I were into writing on phone booth walls, I'd be real tempted just once to write for a good time, call our friend who? First name only, please. Ron? Oh, she's going to kill me. Everybody's going to kill me. I'm going to say Monica. Monica. Yeah. <laughs> How come? Uh, she's friendly. She's probably... She probably she's friendly. Be, yeah. I see. Okay, good. <laughs> Sean? Uh, that would definitely have to be Debbie because she's blonde and uh, she really knows how to have a lot of fun. Oh, those blonde Debbies. Okay. <laughs> Paul? Um, <laughs> Veronica. Tight dresses. Really? Tight all the time. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Bro. Not that I noticed. I'd have to say her friend Marie, she's, uh, she's in this tight, small dresses and a touchy-feely kind of person. Marie, so. oh, touchy-feely Marie. Okay, gentlemen, thank you. We'll be right back to reunite these newlyweds. We'll see how well our husbands have predicted what their wives will say right after these messages. Buzzer presents another profile of an African-American great. Actor and comic, Scoey Mitchell. Mitchell was a passionate voice for civil rights and proper black representation in the media. He appeared on film, stage, and TV, plus nearly 200 episodes of game shows for Goods and Toddman. In 88, Scoey was superb on Super Password. Breakable. Fragile. Yes! Keep watching for more of our salute to African-American greats right here on Buzzer.
Welcome back, everybody. Gentlemen, we recorded your predictions on cards. You now have them flat on your laps. Each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. One couple with the most points at the end of the show wins that great second honeymoon. So, ladies, thanks for coming back. We couldn't do the show without you. Here's your first question. Tell me, ladies, the first time you saw each other naked, did you have more to brag about, or did your husband have more to brag about? Renee? <laughs> He had more to brag about. He did? Definitely. I'll be darn. Sean said that, uh, yeah, he did. He had more to brag about. <laughs> you know Shalon? Um, I would say that he would have more to brag about. He because, had more to brag about. Yeah, because he had a better body than I, and he's all cut up and everything. So I would say. You mean he, he got hurt? No, he's he's got like the six pack and. Oh, he's got nice a six pack. He drinks a lot of beer, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. <laughs> that Poor too. Cut, he does do that. He's cut up and he drinks beer. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. All right, Ron predicted that. Uh, yeah, he did. He Yay! had more to brag about. Yeah. <laughs> Mandy, what do you think? I think he said that I had more to brag that about. You had more to brag yes, about. Yes, it started with a massage and it ended up to other things. Oh my so. goodness! <laughs> really? All right. Raul yes. said definitely. No, he had more to brag about. Aww. Can you believe that? <laughs> Sharon, what do you think about this? Well, knowing my husband, I know he—it's not true, but I know he said he had more to brag about. He had more to brag about. He predicted you would say that uh, he had more to brag about. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Does he? Uh, does he think he's pretty cool naked? Oh, yeah. I'm the poltertudinous steam shovel of love, Bob. <laughs> Ooh, my goodness. Next question, lady. What's the one thing your husband thinks that you obsessed way too much about right after you got married? Be specific. Shalon? I would say many, because we're broke, and I'm just obsessed with getting our money well, back. He buys too many six-packs. Yeah, and he buys too uh, many six-packs. Ron said it would be about finances. Yes, you got it. OK. Mandy, something that he thinks you obsess way too much about right after you got married. I think he said my weight. Your weight? I, I'm always complaining right. he about He said my you, you obsessed, uh, no, about being clean. About being clean. You run around, you're always cleaning things. Nothing is ever in the right place when I put it down. It's always where you want it. So. Okay, Sharon. <laughs> right, this is right after you got married now. I'm a clean freak, too, so I would say about my cleanliness. Your cleanliness. He predicted you would say it would be about cleaning. Yeah, you got it. Okay. <laughs> Renee? I about money. Yeah. About money? Yeah, no. I was he, always... he predicted you would say it was, uh, Baby, it was about your weight. Come on. Oh. You know you're always talking about that. What? <laughs> yeah. How she'd like to be in better shape. Yeah, she that's... looks like she's in good shape to me. You look she's a little heavy. She's in great shape. <laughs> Pardon me? You, the question was, what did she obsess yeah, about? Yeah, probably the weight. Oh, okay. Hey. I'm sorry, I didn't understand the question. I'd answer it a different <laughs> Telling me what a question is, I'm asking the question. Next question, ladies. Think about this. How did your husband complete this sentence? This is him talking. If I were into writing on phone booth walls, I'd be real tempted just once to write for a good time, call our friend who? Give me a first name only, please. Mandy, for a good time, call... Our friend Brad. Brad. Yes. Okay. Now, your husband... You want to show me the card there? Now, who's Marie? Marie. Yeah. Oh, Marie. <laughs> yeah. She's a good friend of mine. Yeah. I've known her for a long time. I... Who's Brad? Oh, Brad is... Uh... Our brother-in-law. Why'd you say him? He gets around. Oh, he gets old. Oh. Yes. <laughs> gotcha. Sharon. She was going to kill me, but Tanya. Tanya. Oh, you know who else is going to kill you? Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> she wears she tight dresses. <laughs> she doesn't get really around. Tight. She doesn't get around, no. You don't, have to, you don't have to wear a tight dress to get around, Paul. <laughs> you wish. Renee, for a good time, call our friend who? I would have to say Casey. Casey. Because he's always, every time we see him, he's talking about a different girl and Oof. different things. And, oh, did you see that girl? We'd be rollerblading. And he's his like eyes Brad. are always yeah. everywhere. He so. and Brad get around then, don't they? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Casey. Hey, Sean said, for a good time, call Debbie. 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 Debbie is always used to talk about Casey all the time. Yeah. So it's Debbie. Debbie. You mean Debbie knows Casey? <laughs> yes. He had a crush on her. They had, she had, like, the hots. And she's just, oh. she likes to have a good time. Hey, well, why don't you put her name on the phone booth then? We'll... I would. Okay. Shalon, for a good time, call who? I would say um, Monica, uh, who's one of my best friends. And it's not because she gets around, but it's because we're really trying to find someone for her. And she's looking for someone. So you think you someone. can find somebody on the phone booth wall? Is that well, what you're saying? It's a start. I see. Okay. Ron said, for a good time, you can call Monica.
We'll be right back to see how well the wives can predict what their husbands will say right after these messages. everybody we have four delightful couples with us today and ladies your husbands are now all secluded off stage where they belong we don't ever want them to come back not till we get done with these questions all right and remember these are the important ones these are the 10 point questions so here's the first one ladies when you were on the prowl remember that when you were on the prowl will your husband say you thought that you would end up with a guy with bigger muscles than him bigger brains than him or better looks than him mandy Okay, I would say bigger muscles. Bigger muscles yes. than Raul. Yeah. Yes, even though he's a Marine and he's always working out, he still thinks he's too small. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Shalon? I thought I would end up with someone with bigger brains. I'd bigger say. brains than him? <laughs> so he doesn't have many brains? No, he's smart. But oh, he I is. Think he, that, but you have more. But he's got muscles and good looks. Yeah, so I right. couldn't I ask for that. anything okay. more than that area. Renee, you thought you were going to end up with a guy with bigger muscles, bigger brains, or better looks? Better looks. Better looks. Yeah, when I first met Sean, he he was very interesting. He had rolled up jeans and he looked like Fonzie. <laughs> and it was okay. like 1987. All right. So. Hey, watch that, 1987. <laughs> Sharon. I would say um, bigger brains. You thought you'd end up with a guy with bigger brains. Uh -huh. I was uh, dating somebody before who was working on his PhD, and I think that intimidated Paul oh, a little okay. bit. So. Next question, ladies. What will your husband say is the title of the last movie you saw together that got you in a romantic mood, but not him? Shalon? The last, uh, probably Bridges of Madison County. Bridges of Madison County, yeah. okay. Renee? Probably an old one, when Mary, Harry met Sally. When Harry met Sally? Yeah, we like that Fine. one. Sharon? Top Gun. Top Gun. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Top Cruise. Gun? I like Tom Cruise, it was on cable. Oh, you like Tom Cruise, yeah. I see. All right, <laughs> Mandy? Okay, he's going to say Austin Powers. <laughs> <laughs> if you can believe that. Austin Powers got you in a romantic yeah. mood, but not him. <laughs> yes, it did. It made us silly and crazy, and we were laughing, and it 
ended up to other things. <laughs> okay, last of our 10 point questions. Ladies, how will your husband say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. I've seen my husband blank more than once, and now I'm wondering if there's a woman trapped in his body that's trying to get out. <laughs> Renee, what have you seen him do? I've seen him put on my clothes more than once. I'll beg your pardon, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> so that would make him think what, there's a- What clothes a does he put on? Um, soft clothes, like so <laughs> soft shirts. And he, is he wearing your lingerie? Um, just today, yeah. Just today? No. <laughs> okay. Just kidding. Sharon. I've seen him dance more than once. You've so. seen your husband dance more than once and you wonder if there's a woman trapped uh -huh. inside of him. Does he dance a little? He's, he thinks he's really good, but yeah. he's really not. He's really not, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell him. Mandy. <laughs> he spends too much time on his hair. He spends a lot, of, he doesn't have much hair. <laughs> Believe me, with what he has, he, he gels, hairspray, the works. Oh, no, kidding. <laughs> yes. Okay, Shalon, what do you think about this? I would say um, he does this little dance when he's naked, and it's horrible, <laughs> but he well, acts What do you like mean? What kind of dance is it? Well, he just kind of shakes around <laughs> in the room by himself. and um, He shakes around in the room hips. by himself? Mm hmm Wiggles his hips, and I often wonder about that. <laughs> Can't wait for that one. Okay, 25 point bonus question. Ladies, how much will your husband say he weighs? And your answers must be within five pounds in order to match. Sharon? Um, 200 pounds. 200 pounds. Mandy? 175. 175. Shalon? 205. 205. Renee? 151. 151. Ladies, thank you. We'll be back with the husbands to compare answers on the Newlywed Game right after these messages.
Welcome back, everybody. Gentlemen, let's see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. And remember, these are the 10-point questions. First one goes like this. Gentlemen, when your wife was on the prowl, this is when she was out there on the prowl, did she think that she would end up with a guy with better looks than you, bigger brains than you, or bigger muscles than you? Ron, when she was on the prowl, did she think she was going to end up with a guy with what? Better oh, looks, bigger brains, or bigger muscles? I'd say probably uh, bigger brains. She's always calling me stupid. Oh, <laughs> she says you're stupid? I get that sometimes. <laughs> you do? Yeah. All right, she says she thought she would end up with a guy with bigger brains. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, I would have to say uh, bigger muscles. Bigger muscles? Bigger muscles, because most of the friends and friends that I have, and I know some of her friends, and they're all much bigger than I am. Are you tiny? Compared to a lot of my friends. Oh, I see. I right. She thought she'd end up with a guy with bigger muscles than you. <laughs> what do you think, Paul? Um, bigger brains. She says I has al Alzheimer's, so. <laughs> bigger brains. Bigger all right. Brain. She said that you, she thought with bigger brains, yeah. Absolutely. Sean. Definitely uh, better looks, I would say. Better, better looks? Yeah, I have a big schnoz. And, uh, well, let me see. Turn sideways. Let me see. <laughs> That's no, not bad. I don't know yeah. if you have enough makeup to cover this. Yeah, thing. we do. Yeah. And uh, I didn't dress that well when she. Uh, okay, she went, said she thought she did with the guy with better looks than you. Yeah. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. Tell me, what is the title of the last movie that you saw together that put your wife in a romantic mood, but not you? The title of the last movie you saw together, Raul, that put your wife in a romantic mood, but not you. I'd have to say uh, Bridges of Madison County. Really? That did yeah. it, huh? She, she loved that movie, and I thought it was boring. I'd yeah. rather watch a car rust. <laughs> yeah, okay. Mandy predicted you would say uh, Austin Powers. Because uh, we sat on our anniversary, and we were romantic all day. So. I wasn't thinking about that during Austin <laughs> Powers. I'm sorry. Okay. Austin Powers didn't put you in a romantic mood, did it? We were laughing and yeah. giggling well, all day. That has got nothing to do with oh. it. No. Yeah. <laughs> Paul? <laughs> Saw together, put her in a romantic mood, but not you, big guy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, Bob, that would be Jerry Maguire. Jerry Maguire. All right. She predicted you would say it would be Top Gun. <laughs> Same guy, know. wrong movie. <laughs> wow. Like, oh. well, uh, do you like Tom Cruise because he sort of reminds you of Tom Cruise? Uh, yes, I did, Bob. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I was talking to her, but I'll take your answer. <laughs> what do you think here, Sean? Um, I hope that she picked The Saint because it had a lot of action, which, you know, gets which you one? going. The Saint. The With same. Val Kilmer? Yeah, okay. There's a lot of action and there's a love story in there. Really? You thought that put her in a romantic mood, but it didn't do anything for you? Well, I like the action part of it. Yeah, I knew you would. You're a big guy, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Renee said it was uh, When Harry Met Sally. Oh, When Harry Met Sally? Yeah. What are Ron. you talking about? In her own little twisted way, L.A. Confidential, she's kind of got a thing against... L.A. Confidential? Officers. Yeah. That put her in a romantic mood. She, she, she doesn't like cops, so... Okay. Shalon predicted you would say it was, uh, no, uh, Bridges of Madison County. Oh. Here's the last of our 10-point questions. Gentlemen, how did your wife complete this sentence? This is her talking. I've seen my husband blank more than once, and now I'm wondering if there's a woman trapped in his body that's trying to get out. <laughs> she has seen you do what, Paul, more than once, and she wonders if there's a woman trapped in your side of your body trying to get out. Prance around, dance around. <laughs> you prance around? Jeez. Well, I bet that's a sight. Okay. Yeah. Sharon predicted you would say... She's seen you dance. What do you think, Judge? You take that? Judge, that's all right, too. Sean. Uh, that would definitely be uh, walking around the house naked. Dancing she's seen you walk around the house naked. She wonders if there's a woman trapped inside of you. I like to be free. Well, let me get this right, Sean. She's seen you naked, and she wonders if there's a woman trapped well, inside of you. Well, I move around a lot, you know. And, I you see. Know, Renee I predicted you would say, uh, put on her silky fun stuff, big guy. <laughs> well, I do that, too, but not as much as I walk around You're the house naked. You're not wearing her teddy again, are you? <laughs> Come on, you know I love to walk around naked. Yeah. What about when you put on the ma Ron. Shalon talks about how long it takes me to get dressed or get ready, so no, I would no, probably... Ron, your career is basically over, I think, big guy. <laughs> yeah. But she told us about uh, the, that you do this funny little shake-around dance in the nude. <laughs> yeah. You know, when, you, when you go back and forth. <laughs> oh, be darn. Ro. Well, I would have to say I, uh, I do a lot of impersonations and the movie The Birdcage is one of our favorite movies and I run around impersonating you know homosexuals in the movie and it's rather feminine 
<laughs> when I do it, I think that's what. And, and, and what do you do for a living, sir? I'm a Marine. <laughs> that's a, yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay, Mandy predicted you would say that uh, you spend too much time on your hair. Before we get to our 25 point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. Take a look. You're going to Mexico! <laughs> You'll stay at the Double Tree Resort Ixtapa on a luxurious beach overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Bask in the country's warm hospitality. Enjoy days of sun filled fun and scintillating nightlife. Double Tree Resort Ixtapa. Have a fabulous second honeymoon. Back to you, Roberto. Okay, Mr. Kramer, thank you. Gentlemen, 25 point bonus question. How much do you weigh? And your answer must be within five pounds to match. Let's go to couple number three, Raul and Mandy. You have 10, 25, I give you 35. Raul? 178 pounds. 178, she said 175. You got it right, okay, good for you. Three pounds off. Couple number one, Sean and Renee, you have 15, 25, I give you 40, get it right, you'll be in first place, Sean. 150 pounds. 150, she said 151, you got it, good. All right, couple number two, Ron and Shalon, you have 25, 25 will give you 50. Ron, take over the lead with the correct answer. 200 pounds. 200 pounds, she said 205, just oh, barely, yeah. but you made it. Okay, couple number four, Paul and Sharon, you have 30, 25 and give you 55. Get it right, and you're on your way to Mexico. What's your answer, Paul? 200 pounds. 200 pounds, she said you weigh 200 pounds, you're right. Paul and Sharon LeBlanc, you're our newlywed game grand prize winners. All the time we have for today, I'm Bob Eubanks. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Husband and wife 13 months ago, Melody and Mike Bernal. <laughs> Couple number two marched down the aisle three months ago, Jan and Jesse Farron. <laughs> Couple number three sliced their wedding cake nine months ago, Bridget and Bert Smith. <laughs> and couple number four also traded vows nine months ago, Nancy and Dan Nancy. <laughs> and now uh, here's the star of the newlywed.